How many of y'all got issues with keeping toilet paper in your house? You don't get it. You put toilet paper in, you come back, toilet paper gone. You buy 28 rolls of toilet paper the next week, ain't nobody got no toilet paper. I couldn't understand. It was the toilet paper monster coming in and eating up all the toilet paper in the house. So the Holy Spirit told me, he said, tell him to bring you some tissue for your nose. Brought me some tissue for my nose. Whole hand full of tissue for my nose. I said, well, my goodness, if you're giving me this for my nose, What is you using for your butt? So I said, uh-uh, that's it. I said, four squares per use. That's it, four squares, four squares per use. And you know, my kid's crazy enough to, to believe I'm crazy enough that it's gonna be an issue if you ain't using four pairs. Like, I'm sitting in the bathroom with you counting the squares. But I noticed that it was working because the toilet paper was lasting a whole lot longer. And then now, it's our responsibility as parents to teach our kids responsibility. So I said to myself, I said, you know, it's time to kick this up a notch. I said, it's time for you to start paying for your own toilet paper. <laughs> you ain't never seen a kid respect nothing until he watch him pay for it. Start paying for your own toilet paper. Now, how many of y'all got that kid with that first job and that first check? All of a sudden, they can pay your bills <laughs> with a $300 check. But they walking around, they chest all stuck out. So my son, I told him, you're going to start paying for your own toilet paper. He's going to walk up to the aisle. And I saw him, right? And he looked. And I kept on going. I could hear him four miles down. Water toilet paper, $18. Bible say train the child up in the way that they should go, amen? Because one day they should go, amen? But I saw the train stuck because when he got home, he was walking down the hallway talking about everybody get four squares per use. 